O. Uh, next, please. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hello. Keep going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, and 3, and 5, and 6, and 7. All right, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. False start, sorry, hold on. It's always a great pleasure uh, for Afghan Ascent uh, to continue bringing you some of our top performers from Berklee College of Music that many consider uh, to be the leading college for the study of contemporary music. Berklee College of Music is quite proud and um, critically conscious of its vision and its statements with respect to its understanding of a global musical perspective. Diversity is one of the most central dimensions of performing music at Berklee College of Music. By way of exemplifying in a concrete and lived way this interest in diversity, uh, Afghan Ascent, uh, for the first time, uh, is bringing you some top performers in the form of uh, students uh, from Berklee College of Music who are going to introduce us not only to Latvian music uh, but um, to a different kind of music uh, that they long decided to make their intimate own. Um, the program will begin uh, with um, I asking my students, uh, one of whom, uh, Rina, uh, Rin, uh, Rinhart, uh, I occasionally call him uh, Richards, is currently registered in my uh, philosophy of literature course in which he is uh, performing uh, at a high level. Uh, indeed, he's one of uh, my best students uh, in that course. So enjoy the music, enjoy the introduction to Latvian culture, uh, Latvian music, and the music that they've chosen, which will remain as a surprise to you at their own. They own it, they live it, uh, they are passionately um, uh, interested in it, and uh, they'll share what they've been honing, uh, crafting, and uh, developing uh, ever since they uh, decided to internalize this particular genre of music uh, in Latvia. Uh, Afghan Ascent uh, brings you uh, three of my students from Latvia uh, to, b to play great music for us. Welcome to Afghanistan. Hello. Hello. Um. Well, uh, I'm sure my, my audience is um, quite excited uh, to, to, to listen to you and uh, learn from you. So what I thought would be the uh, most um, appropriate way of uh, beginning our show tonight is for you, uh, the three of you, uh, to tell us um, just about anything that you think uh, we should know about Latvia, its music, its culture, its cuisine, its language, its people in uh, less than five minutes or so. 
So perhaps um, I should begin with uh, Rihat. Well, um, there's a lot of things to talk about Latvia. Latvia is a very small country, actually. Its population is only 2 million. So you can imagine that there's not a lot of uh, musicians there. But there's quite a lot of good musicians there, including ourselves. <laughs> so, and we decided to hone our skills and uh, learn even more. That's why we came here to Berklee College of Music. And these are my colleagues, uh, Petrus and uh, Cynthia. Petrus plays drums, Cynthia plays bass. Maybe you can talk a little bit about how you started out with these instruments in Latvia. Oh, uh, Cynthia? <laughs> okay, I'll start. Uh, uh, I started at a young age. I started to uh, play drums uh, from the age of s six or eight. Uh, my father uh, just, uh, she, he's a musician. My, um, yeah, my mother is a musician too, so I was grateful to have them. And, and um, they uh, bought me a drum set, and uh, I started to play. <laughs> How old were you when you started playing uh, a drum set? Uh, six. Six years. Wow. And you've been uh, practicing uh, playing drums? since you were six years old? Yes. How often? Every day? Yeah, uh, there was a period when I played drums, when I played marimba. I, I went to a music school in Latvia. In Latvia, I see. I see. What kind of music do uh, your parents play? I played uh, classical music I in see. music school. In music school. And you were classically trained then? Yes. I see. But there is no drumming in uh, classical music, is there? So you must have introduced a foreign element to that genre, because it's strictly non-linguistic, non-lyrical. It's instrumental, minus drums, correct? Yeah, correct, because it's interesting, because I always wanted to play drums. Mm -hmm. But when I went to music school, I needed to play uh, marimba. Marimba, and, uh, okay. Learn solfeggio, of course, and uh, piano. Uh -huh. but I was always trying to play drums. I see. <laughs> I, w I wanted to play th those drums. And in a high school, uh, I went to a jazz high school with these. Wow. That's where we met. That's where you met, I think. Uh -huh. and then I really At the music started, school. Yeah. I and see. then I really started to play jazz wow. music. And wow. Were your parents uh, a little bit disappointed because um, although you were trained to be a classical musician, you decided to sneak in the drum? Was that a disappointment for them or? No. Really? Yeah, they uh, supported me. They all supported the way. you? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hey, how about Cynthia? I started to play bass around five years ago, a little more. Five years old? Uh, no, uh, oh. five years ago. <laughs> five years ago. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be strange that, in Latin. No, it won't be strange, but I said. Yes. Playing the bass at the age of five. <laughs> I, I just couldn't imagine you with the bass at that age, but anything is possible in I wish. Uh, musical training. I wish. So at what point did you uh, begin uh, playing the bass? At what age? Do you remember? Yes. Of course you do. Uh, I was 16 years old. Oh, 16 years old. I yes. See. I see. And uh, I started to play acoustic guitar back home just because I really wanted to play some songs. I love to sing. Yes. And I wanted to accompany myself. Ah, I see. But I used to go, uh, I come from a small town, mm -hmm. and I used to go one place where people met, and there were a lot of kids my age yes. who played instruments. And they were just wow. gathering there and just wow. hanging out. I see. And uh, I went there to look for a chance to play with somebody. Mm -hmm. So every day I was there just playing, hoping somebody would ask that they want to play with me. Yes. And one day uh, there was this heavy rock band yeah. whose bass player didn't show up. I see. And there was this bass guitar and I said, wow. well, I can try to play it, you know. And I tried and I was playing it at that moment. We were playing super easy rock song, but that doesn't matter. That was a chance for me to play with people. So I continued to play and practice at home. I bought my own bass guitar two days later for all my savings I had. And afterwards, there is a festival in my home city. 
uh, it's called um, guitarist sesi mm -hmm. in my language. It's like guitar ses session. Yeah. Yeah. And there are teachers who come there and teach instruments for a week. And uh, I got a teacher who introduced me to how to really actually play the instrument correctly. Yeah. And I started practicing at home. I realized that's my passion. I love American rooted music, which is blues, funk, and uh, jazz. So I kept on practicing to um, continue my studies in Riga uh, to go to the capital city. And afterwards, I studied for a year, I studied in rock music high school because I didn't have the knowledge. But my teacher gave me some. Um, jazz music, yeah. and I kept on practicing, practicing, and in a year, I ended up in Salkurs, the Jazz Festival, which is a really nice festival in Latvia. Wow. And actually, the director of the school we all studied at, uh, Dallas Grzybowskis, yeah. he's a founder of this jazz festival, and thanks to this jazz festival, I met him, and he asked me if you want to study in this, in this school. But at that school, there is only like one spot for each instrument. For whole country. For the whole country? Yes, one spot. So th uh, there is like a combo made from those students and we ended up in one combo because we study, we started to study there at one year before we didn't, we hadn't even met each other. Uh, so I, he gave me a chance to kind of audition at this jazz festival even though I didn't have all the knowledge I should need to get in that school at that yes. point. Yes. He gave me uh, an opportunity uh, to audition to the, for the school with, I think, a little easier uh, exam for the theory because I really wasn't ready to do it at that point. And yes, that's how it all continued. Then I really started to play, met these people, uh, got introduced to jazz music, actually recordings, blues, funk, fusion, and everything that follows. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm still overcome by the fact that uh, you picked up a bass guitar for the first time in your life, and you began to play it that afternoon, I wouldn't even know what to do with a bass guitar if somebody gave it to me now. I can only stare at it. Uh, I don't know what it's made out of. I don't even know where to put my fingers, uh, how to hold it, um, how to make it generate the uh, appropriate sound. How did you manage to intuit all this as someone who saw a bass guitar for the first time. How is it done? Um, all I can say it just happened because really? my you just picked up the guitar, yes, the bass guitar, and yeah. you played it yes. for the first time. I uh, they actually were playing a song by Nirvana. I remember, it smells like Teen Spirit, mm -hmm. and I just found the right pitches. By ear, I took the bass guitar. I heard the guitar player, you know, trying out the yes. riff. And I just found those notes on that bass, and it made it made sense. But you've, uh, you, you, I had never played bass guitar before. But you've played guitar before. Yes. Oh, I, I see. I played acoustic oh, guitar. Of course. Ah, yes. th that's what I see. Yes. So it was just just um, a matter of transforming you know, your skills from the acoustics to the bass guitar with appropriate modifications, yeah. notes, scales, so forth and so on. I think. It I was understand. it was all did by uh, ear because I didn't have I the knowledge. See. But so. still. It is kind of similar. So. Wow, so you had the pictures uh, and uh, the ears just uh, intuitively, just right. Yes, Amazing. basically it was in more uh, intuitively. Wow, that's impressive. Well, how about you, Rehart? How did you um, become a guitarist? Well, uh, the story is not quite as Cynthia's, but a little bit similar. Mm -hmm. I began playing at the age of uh, 15 or 16, so yeah. that's like five years ago. Yeah. And um, it just happened that me and my classmates in elementary school had some common interests in music, and we decided that we should make a band, either to no one of us knew how to play the instruments. So we just bought the cheapest possible instruments and okay. started jamming together and trying to figure out notes and okay. songs differently. And, uh, Wow, that takes care of um, uh, your interest in the, in the instruments. And now uh, I can't help uh, but wonder how you began getting interested in jazz and blues, which is a foreign element to Latvia. Well, uh, I, I imagine Latvian music to be fundamentally classical. 
because of her European influence, correct? Well, so actually, jazz and blues are just foreign, mm -hmm. aren't they? They are at first, but uh, actually Latvia has a pretty big and historic uh, roots in jazz. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, we were under the Soviet rules until yes. the 90s. Yes. And uh, of course, nobody was allowed to talk about foreign arts, especially jazz yes. and, and, and blues and things like that. That's and what I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think that's one of the main reasons why it sparked a big interest in it. Mm. Our teachers, the school that we met, Riga Cathedral Choir School, uh, the school that we met um, in, the teachers there are jazz musicians themselves. Yes. And they have been playing all through uh, the 70s, 80s. And I think this, this obstruction of possibility to get these recordings to actually listen to music made a big impact because they, they really fought hard to bring in recordings illegally from sailors from overseas. Yes. And then they copied the recordings to, for everyone to hear. And they just learned from these recordings that they wow. had. They haven't heard any jazz live, any blues live, but they were intrigued by the recordings that they received illegally overseas. Hmm. And they started to practice that. And uh, eventually, the jazz culture in Latvia actually grew quite big. We had one wow. of the best uh, jazz big bands in the whole Soviet Union wow. during that era. Incredible. And these teachers taught us in, 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 in this high school with a jazz department. I yeah. know there is a great um, tradition of um, jazz playing in Czechoslovakia. Uh, that I know. Uh, I did not know that there was an equally uh, rigorous and uh, expansive interest in jazz in Latvia. And so thanks for um, educating me. And, and now, I can't help um, but think about how did you manage as members of the band to be accepted to Berkeley College of Music as distinct individuals? It's conceivable uh, that one or two members of the band could have easily been rejected by Berkeley, which means that the band would have uh, been broken, correct? How did that happen? Is that uh, miraculous or...? Well, it was quite a miracle, actually, yeah. Hmm. I imagine. <laughs> the audition <laughs> process was really funny as well. Uh, I mean, we auditioned each at our own times, but we decided to accompany each other to make us feel better and to showcase us in different situations. And uh, the judges decided to actually put us all together. So we auditioned one after the other and helped each other out. And I think that made a really big impact on because the Because you auditioned yeah. individually. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did the interviewers know that you're auditioning as members of a band? Or did no. he keep no. that as a secret? You kept that as a secret, correct? Actually, we mentioned that after you, playing. After playing. Yes. And it wasn't an issue, correct? No. no. Uh, you were still looked at as individual yes. musicians. That's remarkable. We have about um, two minutes left, and I can't wait until um, I listen to your music. Is there anything that you'd like to say to, uh, uh, to, to my audience about the kinds of music that you're going to play for us tonight? We have two minutes. I would like you to use these two minutes in any way you want. Um, the music, the term that we decided on to describe our music is blues fusion. Because we started from blues, we got introduced to blues, we started from blues, and from there on we moved further on to other uh, music genres known in the world, especially from African American culture, mm -hmm. which interested us a lot. Exactly. And th therefore the term blues fusion. And from here we are still moving forward and we decided that this term is a very good term for us because it's not specific, but it's specific enough for it's our music. sufficiently specific. Yes. And what's the name of your band? Blues Fusion? <laughs> no, our no. band name is <laughs> Cool Man's Report. Cool Man's, how, how are you spelling that? Cool Man's Report. C-O-O-L. M-A-N-S, report. Report. Why did you call it the Kuhlmann? 
<laughs> well, it's quite funny. It actually, in a sense, comes from my surname. I see, I see. Okay. Uh, that's because uh, at first the band consisted from four members, and we had another member who was Richard's brother, ah, Maurice. I see, I see. And they were brothers who founded this band. Okay, well, uh, we have to wrap this up uh, because the audience is uh, very anxious uh, to listen to your music. Uh, Afghan Hassan is very proud to have invited you, and this is only an introduction. Afghan Hassan is your home. Uh, when you produce um, your first album, I'll be more than happy to uh, share it with the world, and uh, feel free to come and uh, perform for Afghan Hassan uh, anytime you want. Uh, thanks for coming. Thank you so Thank much. You. You got a king? Go fish! In your face, in your face, in the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Everywhere that we go, he makes people laugh and makes people smile, and I feel like I have that quality. He's the one who always takes me fishing. I watch golf with him. And <laughs> I watch him cook, because when I grow up, I want to be a cook, too. I mean, he has the same faces like this. Dad is the one, when you fall, that picks you up. That unconditional sense of presence and um, reassurance is really what makes him my father. Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. A full life measured in seats starts with the right ones early on. Car crashes are a leading killer of children 1 to 13. Learn how to prevent deaths and injuries by using the right car seat for your child's age and size.
and I saw that there were many people standing in line at my door. And what I saw, I said I couldn't let them in. And I don't need nobody now. I don't need to see no you. Well, I was sitting down in my room, and I was staring through the window, blindly looking ahead. And what I saw, I almost couldn't comprehend. the forest sign All you'll ever see Is sun going down Get electrified Across the moving sky 
But it seems so much clear Standing right here But I praise the hand That took me in And I fall upon On the sliding time But my left are here to stay And they are moving stronger Moving closer now More than ever before report right here for you. Thank you all. Thank you, Tedros, for inviting us so much. On the bass, it's Cynthia. And on the drums, it's Petrus. And my name is Richards. And we're all very thankful that we can be here. Thank you so much. Cool man's report. Thank you. 
Sounds will seem everywhere you go. Can't find a ever, no matter where you go. People are drifting from door to door. Can't find no peace, can't find no happiness. You know, if I ever get off this old killing floor, I will never get as long, no more.
Blackbird singing in a bit of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free You were only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird singing in a dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free You were only waiting for this moment to be free Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you so much. Take a 